School Gaming. YDAM L2P presents The Old School Gamer. Hey everybody, we are back and we are working on the quest. What are we doing here? What quest? Out of the past, we're going to kill Brother Delph. Episode 21, Reckoning, Kingdoms of... And, um, yeah, it looks like we're heading out of the cave. I didn't ever apologize to that guy for killing all of his buddies, but, um, oh well. Looks like there's some more up here. They're probably hiding out. I, I still hadn't figured out what those flowers are for. I'm guessing that they are... Not even see if there is there a chest back there. I forget it. Let's go. Gonna slice and dice, take him out. One's gone. These daggers. The one thing is, is uh, they are relatively quick. So the good thing is, um, if you find somebody to kill them, a lot of times you can get a lot of hits in before they have time. To get you back. How did I miss all this stuff? I did. I, I don't know. Maybe this uh, got gold laying everywhere, just running right by it. Good old Delph. Feel sorry for the guy. You know, I always kind of liked him. Seemed to be a pleasant gentleman. I hate to have to kill him. Uh, so finished up Alan Wake last night with Conjure 77. He was uh, playing the entire game. I sat back, played Sidekick, and uh, watched him play. And we had a commentary throughout the whole thing. Um, the funny thing is, is I am just not good at it, uh, and not good at not good at it. But whenever I say not good at it, what that means is I am not good. And sitting back and watching, at least with that game, it was so intense. I think um, it was harder, it was more intense and scary for me to sit back and actually watch Conjure play the game than it was for me to actually play the game myself. Which is, is funny because you get so into these games whenever you play. It's just uh, it's just funny to me that, that that's actually how that ended up working out. Uh, let's see, is that a ring there? Ooh, 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 ooh. We're taking that. Quest complete, special delivery. I didn't even realize I had that one. Um, let me uh, go to my inventory and go to my armor. We may be getting some some upgrades, looks like. That uh, is exciting. The Running Man, 34. Oh, you know what? I meant to tell you guys this. I actually went and bought the uh, the special package. Uh, they they have a uh, a deal for a, a downloadable content for this. So it's a full set. You could pick your um, you could pick your profession for finesse. So I bought the one for for finesse, and this is what it looks like. That is pretty cool looking. They did a good job with it. I'm uh, I'm impressed. Gave me a little bit of an armor boost. Um, I don't know if I, I may even have, uh, oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, we're going to go with these. We're going to, we're going to have some fun stuff here. Uh, and then for secondary, it looks like I even got a bow and, uh, this bow looks like it's a little better, but I'm going to try this because it does, oh, what? I got a skull or a, some kind of funky skull on that. All right, so Wadam is loaded out, um, at least for the time being, till I get some upgrades. It is going to be relatively cool to see what happens. Now, I guess uh, I'm going in here to find Delth. I, I, I don't know if my um, if my whatever actually changed, my quest objective actually changed. Talk to Brother Delph. Ah, oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. Is it done? Can I rest at long last? 
Um, it is a sacrament of the Red Legion. When you commit a crime, you must pay a penance. Okay. So am I supposed to kill him now? Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm gonna end up paying for this. This guy. I don't think they forgive me. I can't can't even hit him. Um I got a time limit here. Nah, I didn't mean to hit you, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. Hopefully that- hopefully not everybody's ticked off at me for that. Alright, so that's disabled. I can't pick up his, uh... pouch pocket thing here. Can't pick up that one either. We'll see if, uh... Anybody outside this area saw the crime I have committed? <laughs> Hopefully I'll let that one slide. I didn't mean to hit the other dude. So if anything backlashes, um, that may be what it was. I probably should have saved it prior. That? Oh yeah, I've got enemies in here now. Let me just go down here and look. You there, halt. Take my... Fine, I don't have... I, I go to jail. Off to jail with you. I don't know what I have to do in jail. We'll find out here in a second, though. I don't have 7,000 gold to pay for the fine, so... Rather than worrying about fighting the city, I'm going to show you guys how to get in jail and how to get out of jail. You may rest in the cot for yourself if you wish to serve out your sentence. That sounds good to me. Where is the cot, and how do I rest on it? Bed A. Serving out your sentence will cause you to lose 225 XP. Does that mean I will actually go? Well, and that's that's fine. We're gonna serve my time. I killed the guy. You know, I mean, next time I have to go to jail, if I have to go to jail again, we'll work on uh, breaking out. Maybe not serving my time, but. Figure this time, let's get back into the quest. We'll go turn this in. We killed Delph. Uh, I don't know if that would have been something that would have... If I had killed him without hitting the other guy, I may or may not have gone to jail for it. Um, but I did hit the other guy, so... Thanks. Sorry about that. Crime's cleared. Appreciate your understanding and uh, help. So, um, quest. We get to activate that quest here. Uh, brutal contract... Not need to. I guess maybe I don't need to go talk to that guy. Long overdue. Where's the uh, quest complete? I guess that's it. Okay. Let's uh, do a faction quest. Let's do. Let's see here. Let's see where this is. Uh, sorry. That is way down here. This is an area we haven't been to. Let's give it a shot. We'll go out there, give us a place to fast travel. Big fan of fast traveling. We may end up missing a couple of quests here and there because of the fast travel. Um, there was a couple of them that I found actually while I was running around. But of course, all of these cities, they've got different quests on them. So we can just pop in there. And in fact, I think we're really at a point now where I can work on getting some more quests. Um, but before I do that, we will make a trip back here. Before I do that, I'm going to, um, we're going to make our way down here and try to turn in this quest. And then we'll, we'll fast travel back to, um, let's see, where should we go? One of these, just a random city, random, random town, random area. And, uh, we will pick up all of the quests in that area and start whittling them down little by little. So, should be cool. I'm kind of having fun. This game is uh, 
growing on me. It's uh, fairly laid back, simple, doesn't require a lot of thinking and play uh, combat style. Oh, hey. These guys are kind of nasty. At least this guy. Oh, I can't dodge. No, I can't dodge. I'm pushing the wrong button here. Oh, this is not good. I'm kind of in a in a sticky situation. Um, get rid of these little guys. Oh, come on, dodge, please. Lots of spiders. These guys seem like uh, they're a little bit over my my level right now. Maybe not over, but uh, maybe I maybe just be out of practice since I haven't been playing for a little while. So I don't know. I had to use a uh, at least one potion there. I was told of ancient days when got another stone that wants to tell me a story. I'd kind of freak out if I was in a place where uh, I picked up a stone and it started talking to me. I'd be like, what the heck is going on here? It's like we're getting closer to the ring. That may be an area up there for us to discover. Another stone that's going to talk to me and tell me another story. Alpha struck Alpha over drink. Lord Ferrara, valiant warrior, destroyer hmm. of infamineer. Little place over there. I always forget that uh I can run. Step around the rock, buddy. Were he only to meet so the cool thing about these quests is I think these actually these class quests are just letting us be able to um discover these uh the class quests. The main quest line is uh Give us a chance to really discover some new areas. Which, like I said, right now it's going to be kind of a pain because we are... Right right now it's going to be kind of a pain because it takes us a while to get there. But it will be one of those things once we once we actually uh, have these places discovered. I mean, running these, running these quests and turning everything in is going to be go relatively quickly. Um, I've actually been rambling on for quite some time now, so, um, oh, we're not going to get turned in the quest here, I thought for sure. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here, just look about how far I've got left to go. Um, I'm going to pause it here, and we will be right back for the next episode. Appreciate you guys watching, Reckoning, this is the Old School Gamer, I'm out, peace. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. I appreciate you hanging out with me through that. If you found it entertaining, I wanted to send an invite out to you guys for a couple other playthroughs that I have going on here. Uh, first of all, if you're into first-person shooters, I just finished a GoldenEye James Bond 007 playthrough. Uh, you can find that on VidThrough's YouTube page. Of course, the uh, video itself will be a link to the playthrough, so feel free to click on that, check it out, let me know what you think. I also just started an Alan Wake playthrough, and uh, if you're somebody that is into a little bit more uh, suspenseful adventure, feel free to check this out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, myself and Conjurer77 are playing this game. Uh, it's very entertaining and uh, pretty suspenseful. If you think you might want to check that one out, just click on the video here. It'll take you directly to the video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Once again, this is the Old School Gamer. Have a pleasant evening. I'm out. Peace.